Hit the subscribe button, the like button, and ring the bell so you're notified when I put new videos out. This video is dedicated to all the non-believers that did not believe Don Wells took these pictures the morning that Summer disappeared, June 15, 2021. This is Don Wells in his own words. Um... This was an interview done by Voices Behind the Wall. I give her all credit, um, Cher and Mr. Cher. Uh, Chasing Truth is also on panel. This interview was published on August the 7th, 2021. And I will put the description for the video, the, the full video in the, de I'll put the link for the video in the description box below. I also would like to point out that although Don goes through and explains what all was going on that morning, that he had heard him, the ruckus from three o'clock on when he left to go to work. This is when he found him at the bottom of the driveway. And I would also like to point out that he supposedly tows the four wheeler with the Subaru because I mean, that's what he says he drove that day. Yeah, although he's sitting in the white truck taking the pictures. You guys take a listen to this and then I'll be right back with you. Are you like, tell us about your environment, all of the drug dealers that live by you and, and, and that. Okay. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of people that come around, you know, constantly day and night, all hours of the night looking to, uh, looking for pills or whatever meth. I don't know, but yeah, uh, we see that a lot. You know, like the picture I posted of the little red truck, you know, he got stuck there at three in the morning and they're yelling and screaming since three that morning. So when I went to work that morning, that's the first thing I was dealing with, you know, but and then until the police showed up. But, but yeah, that's pretty common in that area. You know, a lot of rough characters around there, for sure. Mm. Yeah, that sounds pretty. Since you bring up the red truck, um, how did that tip come into play? Was that you that brought that up because you saw the red truck, or did somebody else bring that into play and tell you guys there was a red truck? Or how did exactly did the red truck come into the picture? For when I was, when I was leaving for work that morning, um, there was a guy at the bottom of my driveway wanting me to full start his four wheel uh, his four wheeler. And then the police showed up, and he, he asked if I could go ahead and pull it over to his truck. So, and, and the, the policeman said, yeah, Mr. Wells just pulled over there, you know, and so I did. And uh, when we got there, I seen the truck on, on the bank of the of the ditch there, high centered. And uh, and I asked the officer, I said, can I take some pictures? And he said, no problem, Mr. Wells, go ahead. And he started asking him for paperwork, and when I went to the side of the truck to take a picture of some woman stuck her head out, there was a woman in that truck, and uh, she looked like she ain't combed her hair for like two months, I don't know, but she just laid back down in there and covered up, but that kind of stuff is constant in our area, and uh, 
you know, all kind of stuff going on. You know, I think a myth, myth is becoming what well, it always has been, but it's, it's, it's getting worse, I guess. It's it's a serious problem. I guess it is everywhere, but, but yeah. And that, that was this mor- or the morning? What's well, sir, I did Sorry, that was that morning you left for work that that happened with the four-wheeler and that? Yes, yes. So the police were there June 15th, early in the morning then? Yeah. Yeah, they just showed up because somebody else had called the law. Wow. Well, you already know what I'm thinking, but we can't say it on this, so wow. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Well, just for funsies and to give the people a laugh, were you hiding in that shed when Chris did the interview with his wife? Or with your wife? Uh, no, I was actually at work, and that's that's one of the things that made me mad when he be comment or something like that. I mean, knowing that all these people are watching his show, and he, you know... We let him come up there to our house, and he's going to do it. like so I, I, mean, I just thought that was a little unprofessional. It really, it really upset me. Mm. Uh. Definitely understandably, because when you put your trust in someone, then they turn around and try and paint you as a bad guy. And it seems like it's, it's doing that just for views, too. I don't, I don't understand why he's going after you specifically so hard. But... Yeah, I'm not him, so I'm, I don't know why he's doing that. Yeah. I think, uh, there, you know, there's a lot of speculation and there's a lot of people talking to him, you know, and mm-hmm. it's unbelievable how Facebook, you know, how it is. Anyway, yeah, it's just that. Don, can you tell us... Can you tell us if they verified that you were at work that day? Did you know if they spoke um, to the boss? I don't know exactly what they verified, but, you know, my boss, you know, Richard Tucker, he knows. He, he talked to me that day. Uh, I also talked to Jamie Killian. He was there. I talked to him for 30, 40 minutes after, you know, that day, too. But... Um, trying to remember, but I think I, I talked to Richard about 30 minutes before I got the phone call, and then I, I had to load my tools up and head to the house as fast as I could. So, yeah. But I think they could tell that I was driving a Subaru that day, so I think they could tell by that too because it's a brand new Subaru. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, they should be able to track everything that happened that day. I think that's why there was a, a big issue when you said you thought it could have been 5.30. Can you clarify the 5.30? Is that when you thought Candace called you? Or is that when you thought you got So what did you guys think of that? Nobody can say that Don did not say that didn't happen on June 15th. 2021 that's him his own words you see his mouth moving it is him and not only that he's sitting in a church when he says this and one more thought guys and i didn't notice it until today we've been trying to figure out who green eyes is could this guy here be green eyes how else would green eyes have gotten these photos from dawn and then i noticed on the very last one at the bottom, if you'll notice, it says sent to Daryl Jacobs. Tell me what you guys think. Don't forget, love your kids, hug them, call your parents, pray for everybody, pray for this case, pray for all the lost children, guys, and, and pray that we bring Summer home soon and that we give a little peace to the boys. Until next time, guys.